Look at that dude. Hey, little guy. He's dead? Nope. He's not. He moved. I guess he just wants to hold on right there. Okay. Night. He held on the whole night. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So I'm deciding to uh, head back the way I came. It's a little disappointing since I would have loved to have kind of just kept exploring uh, this section, but we'll leave it for another day. I should have had a alternate route predetermined in case that um, that lake wasn't crossable, you know, but at the end of the day, that's that's adventure, right? That's that's a whole part of it, you know. I'm making this decision on the basis of you know a little bit of safety, a little bit of caution. It's not necessarily what I want, but I'm 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 here for the long haul, you know. I'm I'm hoping to be here for the long haul and not the short, not the short, quick uh, little bursts of fun, right? So I got a. There's this yellow again. <laughs> Amazing. I gotta pace myself. That's the word I'm looking for. Pace myself. Anyways, guys, the plan right now. You know, it's really nice because on my trail tech, it's got it all tracked, so I can see exactly where I rode yesterday. I'm just gonna follow all that and uh, make my way back to. Uh, Town. I'll stop because I can't. I'm pretty bad at multitasking. Gotta go get gas there and then I'm just gonna take highway down uh, to uh, San Felipe. So that's the plan. this sea has brought to us and uh, yeah let's see what kind of trash is floated up here subject number one I recognize that anywhere that my friends you see that red right there and you see these little ribs this is a coke bottle okay don't know what that is a shoe bottle lighter changlita classic clay. another lighter come on guys what's up with all the lighters last one dude dude imagine if we found a message in a bottle that would be so fun for the baby. 
Let's go on this side. Let's see what happens on this side. Another sandal. What are these things? This is a guitar! Paracho, Michoacan, Mexico. Look, that is straight up an old guitar. Feels weird throwing it back down on the ground, but it's not like I can take it. It's a, it's a good thing I turned back, guys, because this river, I was on, I was on this side of it, and drive, and I just came from over there, and I did not see a single road come going through that way, and I think. This all fills up too, I guess, so I probably would have been in a world of hurt if I would have tried to come this way, but either way, I'd like to look. I'd like to look a little bit more and check it out on the on the map a little bit better, but um, yeah, this, you can kind of see it, but this goes all the way to the Gulf or the Sea of Cortez, so Good thing I turned back. Looks <laughs> like so we got our first border trek. The Federales. Espera su turno. Wait your turn. Looks like they're checking this guy's trunk. Fun to start this. See? A Chiapas, <laughs> pero al San Felipe al principio, sí. Yeah. Sí, todo para vivir. <laughs> Gracias. We made it through, baby! Bad ass insurance. I see what they did there. I see what they did there. <laughs> be pretty bold to call that your insurance. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's open. It's not abierto? Si, it's open. Okay. It's very nice and the food. It's good? All right. Are you going there? Si, I am owner. Owner. You're the owner? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll eat there. Hi, puppy. Eres un perrito, perritos de calle. Just got done. Just got done here at the Airbnb. Um, got some videos edited. Tried to at least. Um, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be editing these videos quickly. Gotta definitely go get some fish tacos. I don't think you could come here and not get fish tacos. So get all full before we take off and go into the desert for a few days. So here we go. All of this right here was free. This was all free. Minus the drink. <laughs> Holy cow. Check out that.
that would that would suck if you went off that. Pray that this is a good road right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I need this to be a good road and it is. Guys, this is incredible. I'm on my route still. Awesome. The road is amazing so far. I was really worried that I was gonna be going through this. Spending a lot of time trying to figure out where to go. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know. It's gonna be a fun night. It's gonna be a fun night and camp out here. Death trap. There's the first one. Buenas tardes. Hey, come on. Hey. Como esta, mi hermano? Muy bien. ¿Qué onda? No mucho. Mi nombre es Landon. Ah, Felipe. Felipe, mucho gusto. Eh, aquí, ya todo el mundo conoce aquí esta parada. Sí. Tú andas recorriendo, vas de, porque va a haber la mil, la carrera. Va a haber, va a haber mil. Sí, por allá. Sí va a pasar por aquí. Por allá, por enfrente. Más, un, un pocos millas más para allá. Órale. Por puro desierto. Y sí hay paseo por, por, por aquí. Sí, ¿Se, sí, puede, sí. ¿Se puede seguir? Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí va la ruta uh, para Matumí. Luego bajas al arroyo de Matumí y agarras para pa, pa, pa el lado de Puertecito. A ver. Tú vas, tú vas, tú vas de turista, ¿verdad? Para sí. Ah, okay. A La Paz. Está feo porque el arroyo es muy, de mucha leña, muchas piedras. Sí. En tu mapa, que, que, ¿cómo se llama? El GPC. Que, que Ajá. Sí, ese, esa está bien, por aquí va. Pero así, vamos a llegar aquí. Y, y para allá, y para allá, y para allá. Allá está solo, muy solo, el, el arroyo, Matumí, todo eso. ¿Sí has andado por ahí? Mm, no, no, nunca he ido allá. Es mi primera vez. Ah. <risa> Una familia grande. Mucho gato. Un poquito más por aquí. Eso, Perfecto. perfecto. Sí. Okay. Don Felipe. Don Felipe, Adiós. mucho gusto. Voy a hacerlo. Hasta Chiapas, compa. Nos vemos. That was really cool. Gave me some really good uh, advice. He said, just be careful, because. The roads kind of all changed since the hurricane and a lot of stuff is all washed out. And he confirmed that yes, going this way does take me to the ocean. So that makes me feel really good because part of what I'm going through is, I mean, you can see right now, it's, it's wash, it's just wash. So it's really hard to tell on Google Maps you know, if this exists. I would have loved to have stayed and camped with him, but I just still have an hour of sunlight. So I need to take advantage of this a little bit.
Okay, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it gets better than this. Overall, an amazing day. This is this is better than I imagined. Um, just trying to enjoy it. Just trying to enjoy it and uh, trying to get these videos out to you guys. But it's hard, man. It's hard. Um, the editing is not super fast, so. I'm also kind of bummed because the power bank that I bought that has a plug in in it. So like I can literally put like an outlet style plug into it and it said it could charge my laptop, but it can't. I got to figure out something to do that with that. That way I can actually edit my videos on the computer while I'm out here at night. But it's just like once the laptop's dead, it's dead, you know, but anyways, going to eat some food, guys and try to edit some videos, so. We got some ramen. <laughs> Why does that look so stupid? Good morning. Slept pretty good. It's starting to get cold. I got a new sleeping bag. Um, it's not as warm as my one I took across the United States. But it packs down significantly smaller. <laughs> I slept warm the whole night. Minus, you know, probably around 5 in the morning. Right when that sun, you know, the coldest, coldest part of the day, coldest part of the night, I did my feet, my feet got a little cold. I could, I could put on my tarp and that would probably, that'd probably keep it a little warmer in here, you know, and conserve some heat and not get the wind rolling through and just taking all the warmth out of here, so. I have my uh, insulated leggings that I could wear. So I'm not too worried about it, but it makes for really nice riding during the day. That's for sure. So I can't complain too much, but there was a, there was an owl last night. Just over that way a little bit. Just kind of cooing last night. But the first time we, first time we did it, uh, it scared me. <laughs> I'm still in that stage where um, I'm still getting scared at night. You know, I'm still kind of like, kind of like paranoid a little bit. Yeah, I need like, I need like maybe two more nights, three more nights. And then to just kind of like normalize it and then I'll be fine. But hopefully today we get to see um, and maybe jump in the ocean. So I'm going to get out of bed. Just kind of stuck in here because it's cold and I don't want to get out, but feeling energized and feeling ready, so. Morning. There's a lot of bugs out right now. The desert, the desert is so green right now. And they've gotten so much rain down here. Everything is just popping off. Like there's practically a grass field on this on this hill right here in the shade. Look at look at all that grass right in here. It's just growing on rocks. It's just all rock. And look at look at the Akatia is just fully green. So that's why there's all these bugs. Gotta get out earlier. They're not out in the cold, so gotta get out earlier when they're when they're still sleeping. All right, guys, going to bring everyone up to date and we're going to see where we're at. We're going to try to do it quickly because the bugs are attacking me. So here's Mexicali. Here's San Diego up in here. And here's the start of the Baja Peninsula. I was up right here in Glamis. Somewhere right about there. So I rode down off road, dirt road down through Glamis, 
and I'm pretty sure it's called Ogilby. You hit Ogilby and you come down into Yuma. Well, it's more over here. It's actually, I think, right here. And then hop on the highway. Hop on the highway to Yuma. And then I went that first night. I actually went down below Yuma and got close to San Luis in the desert. Camped out there because I was going to cross San Luis and then go start, ah, start going down. That's when the drone broke. So I went all the way back up to Yuma. And then I was like, all right, I'm already in Yuma, but I didn't get everything done in time. And so I camped out in the desert over here in Yuma. And then I just passed through Algodonas. So I went back on the highway, went through Algodonas, and then um, made my way all the way down. Let's see if it shows. Alberto Olvido Moto, Nuevoli. No, so, yep, so this highway. Colonia Marine. Yeah. So I went down through here, and then this is where I met Geraldo. And so I stayed the night with Geraldo that night, and then the next day I went into the Laguna Salada. Um, got all lost, went up into here, turned around, went down into here. Ultimately, just could not figure out how to, how to navigate through there, and didn't really see... Um, didn't really see a sign of getting out of that. So um, camped out and then went back. It went back and then took this highway down. Um, caught a little bit of dirt road down in here. And then hopped back on. And then came all the way down into San Felipe. So camped out there. Or stayed, stayed in San Felipe. And then yesterday went back up a little bit and took this road. And then there's a range of mountains right here. So I'm in a little bit of a valley and rode through all this. Um, down here is where Don Felipe's house is. And then went a little bit past that. And I probably camped out somewhere right here <clears throat> hopefully it stays nice and open there we go baby i see some old truck tires oh beautiful incredibly beautiful So my road is behind me. Let's see if I can get up this. Because my trail has been taken out. Not really seeing anything that looks like a road. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Gonna get out and walk it. Would you look at that? <laughs> Would you look at that? See guys, I'm not too crazy. I came I came a little bit prepared. Not completely prepared, but I mean, yeah, it's not my fault it's six feet down there. That is hilarious. Look at that cactus right there. You know what that is? If you're from California, you probably know what that is. That's termites. See the little hole in there? Get all the termites getting at it. It'd be cool if we could find some active ones, but 
there. Subterraneals. So these termites have to, they have to have access to the ground. They gotta go back for water. That whole side. This is kind of funny. See this? This is from the wind. This guy must be really loose. And the wind is just sweeping him around. <laughs> kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Fun. Walk it a little more just to, just to kind of peep at it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go get the bike. Power of a motorcycle. I don't think you'd be doing that on a in fact, I know you wouldn't be doing that on a, in a vehicle. So where would you go? How would you go through all the cactus? You wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to just weave through the cactus. You gotta be careful because right now I'm going cross grain. So all the water, all the water is running this way. So that's when you get stuck in a giant drop off you know if you're going with the grain with the flow then a lot of times you know it's a it's a little safer but when you go across grain like this you just got to watch out for where the water cuts looks like my trail is a little bit on the racetrack this is the Baja 1000. <laughs> so I just gotta be careful not to get ran over by a trophy truck, but they should be coming towards me. So that's nice. Might be able to see them. Looking good. Um, I'm on this road right now and I'm about to drop into crossing through my first mountain range on this section. I'll, sh I'll show you. Everything goes correctly. I should be heading down here and then I'll drop into a wash where all the water funnels out on this side. And it's gonna go right in between here and this guy, the guy over where that point is. There should be just a small little wash that runs through there and that'll take me out towards the ocean, towards the highway. So it looks like I'm going to start losing some elevation here. Nice and washed out for me. Ouch. Hit my toe. Go slow. I'm just really excited to yeah, also to just see if I can make it through this fast e-bike ain't nothing this baby can't handle I guess <laughs> there it is there it is but based on my uh, map map looking skills I think it goes all the way through and I, I would even venture to say that it'll be a good, like not boulder fields, not going all slow through boulder fields because
I think I could take the bags off and, and do it. You know, I'm debating, is it worth it? I mean, that's what it looks like on top of it. It's wide open. There's the bike down there. It's definitely not a sloucher. There's no entrance over there. This is for sure the spot. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking come, come along this right here. Gosh, this is how high the water was. As you can tell by look at look at how it's all wedged. How the water's pushed all this. This is how high it was. So it ate that. The dirt, the dirt was probably probably somewhere more up along there. So this probably wasn't as high before. But you can tell. This is where the water was. All right. We press forward. We press forward. Wow. Worst comes the worst. I run back to the highway and ask somebody for gas. No more rock fields, no more rock fields. Oh, <laughs> no way, no way. Uh, there's no freaking way. All right, guys. Um, I've walked it. I've thought about it. And we're going to turn back. <laughs> um, the reason is not because this is impassable, but there's still like 20 more miles of this canyon kind of stuff. And so just the likelihood of there just being endless, like endless and endless amounts of this is is just really high and um you know not not the place to just be not the place to be experimenting when you're alone you know gonna have to head back um and change the route up a little bit maybe drive a little bit more highway but i mean the reality is um like i'm getting stoked like i like my stoke level is i don't i don't need i don't need any more stoke <laughs> it's like this is plenty for me Imagine going so fast and not seeing this. <laughs> I think I can make it down without. Yeah, we'll just go slow. But I don't feel like taking all those bags off. I gotta watch that tire so it don't slide off. That rear tire. Perfect, perfect. I could probably just hop on right here, but. Yep, yes sir, yes sir. See, I have no problem going back because look what I got to ride through. Look what I got to ride through. Buenas. Hey guys. I am here at Rancho Grande. So I'll probably just find a spot to camp out over here in the trees or something. So here we go. Yee! Yee! <laughs> 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 
Toma, Fran. ¿Qué onda? Aquí. Ponete aquí. Este va aquí. Sí. Ok, no me tomes foto porque me va a subir face. Ok. Ven, 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 ven. Lo siento, lo siento. No va a salir su cara. Ah, ¿Está bien? Nomás el culo. Nomás el culo. ¡Hija! Esta. Esto. Para respirar. Ajá, le pasa Ajá. el aire a esto y esto te llega el aire. Aquí. La boquilla, güey. Okay. Okay. La, la, la... Y este le manda el aire al tanque. Ajá. Y el tanque ya tú lo jalas por la manguera. <risa> Mira, este triste There's a lot of this in the desert right now. 